Good morning all. It's 6.30 and I feel surprising. Um, obviously still dark. We're allowed to start riding at 7. Um, for now I think I'm going to give the bit of a wipe down. You can see the condensation, the morning condensation everywhere. So I'm going to use it to give the panel a bit of a wipe down. I don't think it will make much of a difference. Get the bike packed up and be ready to go at 7 exactly, hopefully. Today I've really got to count the fact that the uh, likely winner or the likely leader of the race is stopped for mechanical issues and uh, in the message he sent it's kind of vague on whether he'll start in the morning or start later in the day so it's absolutely vital that I just put as many kilometers down now as I can <laughs> um, and then maybe he'll catch me in Spain or Portugal or maybe it'll be all the way until Morocco so let's see probably down the other side of the Pyrenees he's going to catch me but uh, I've just basically all I can do is put down the kilometers today. Okay, it's 6:59. I'm ready. In a few seconds, seven o'clock. Okay, now we're allowed to move. It's time to start the cold morning. Another day, day three of the Sun Trip 2024. Oh, I'm looking forward for the sun coming up. Not immediately try to get run over, eh, in the morning. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's make some progress. Just had a quick stop, fill up on snacks for the day. Today is Sunday, so unfortunately most uh, supermarkets and everything are closed, which is a little bit annoying. So it's a petrol station day. But it's okay, I got everything I needed. I'm loaded up on snacks. I think I'm going to need them today. Definitely going to need the energy. Time to start rolling again, make some progress. is well and truly up now, nice and warm. Well, the John Mark in the Venomobile started moving at 7 o'clock, the same as me. So my theory about uh, him taking more time to repair things was uh, not accurate. So, now I am being hunted. Um, he's coming for me and he's already closing the gap. Uh, all I can do today attack the Pyrenees. This side of the mountains will be bad weather from tomorrow, so I need to get over the mountains and get onto the other side. So my tactic for the climb, I need a full battery at the bottom, which I almost have already, and I'm still a little bit way to go to the bottom of the climb. Full battery at the bottom, and then go full speed, or as much as I can, in order to empty the battery before I get to the top. When I go over the other side of the Pyrenees, I need an empty battery so that I can regen brake all the way down the other side. Uh, right now it's going really well. Uh, I've got a full battery. I'm absolutely flying. I want to get to the bottom of the climb first. repair stop 
this uh, cable cover has slipped out of its uh, mount so now the whole cover is just sliding down the chain and into the, the chain tensioner so I just need to screw it back in uh, also my motor controller is getting pretty warm so I'm going to take it out of its little case and put it externally somewhere on the bike uh, it cooled down pretty quick though so I'm still in first place at the bottom of the climb the climb's about to start I can't believe I've held on to it it started out 80 kilometers behind like this morning then went down to 60 something I think into the 50s at one point uh, but I'm here and I'm, I'm in, still in first I'm just about to start the climb it's time to show everyone what I can do nice people come out to see me um, the bike was good the motor was definitely getting warm it's gonna be interesting to see in Morocco how uh, how things are gonna be the motor controller out in its new mount temporary mount uh, definitely stayed cooler so that was great here we are at the top of the pass here's my mascot and yeah that over there that's Spain Okay, I'm wrapped up nice and warm, time to go down. Another great day, down the descent, super fun. And then sort of cruising into this small town. Um, I was planning to go to a hotel, there's a hotel in the main uh, courtyard. Uh, the main town square. You can tell I'm in Spain now because they have the outside life. The the town square was just full of people just sort of hanging out and the bar was open and everyone was there and it was like bustling and busy. And uh, so I pulled up in the bike. Of course, every head in the entire square turned because it's the most bizarre thing ever. Uh, I, I cruised up to ne a group of older older guys and asked them about the hotel and they said it's closed and blah, 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 blah. Uh, and I'm trying to see if there's any other options. And then I saw there was like a group of younger guys outside a bar on the other side of the square, and I thought usually the best bet is to go for the, the younger guys, the more likely to help. Um, so I went over there and started chatting to them. Um, you know, one of them spoke uh, Spanish first, and then French, and then uh, obviously realized speaking uh, in English. And um, yeah, started chatting to him because he was interested because he saw uh, he saw the word Leon on my jersey, and he's from Leon uh, originally. He's lived here five years. I later found out. Um, anyway, chatting to this group, seeing if they could find somewhere to, if I could find somewhere to stay. Um, and then the, the guy, the main guy I was talking to, suddenly drops. Um, you know, I have an idea. Uh, maybe we can 
go to this place. Um, by the way, I'm the mayor. <laughs> so I accidentally walked right up to the mayor of this town. Uh, sometimes just the best look. So I'm sleeping in the civic center, <laughs> which is this. Perfect for me, no putting a tent up or down. I had a beer with the guys that invited me to stay. Normally I wouldn't, uh, I probably wouldn't have, but honestly these guys are so nice. But uh, despite that, I still would probably have uh, put the race first, but I couldn't say no in this case. It was really nice. Super interested in, in what I'm doing and they're also like big cyclists, which is also nice. Um, some behind the scenes news from today. Um, the microphone I tried to use is not really working. There's something wrong with it. It just disconnects the video when, whenever, any time you try to use it. So I'm going to get rid of it and just uh, do what I've been doing and trying to cover the microphone where possible or only filming when going slower. And uh, yeah, the other behind the scenes thing is I've managed to edit this video, this one now that you're watching, almost entirely while riding the bike, which is what was I, I was originally intending. Uh, which means now I don't have to really do anything. I've got to put like three more clips on, like this one, and that's it. It's finished. So uh, saves a lot of time, saves a lot of effort, gives me more sleep. Tomorrow we start our progress across Spain. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.